Welcome to this video where I will showcase a game between two very strong engines, Stockfish 14, which is the best and open source chess engine in the world, also available on leechess.org, facing Fat Fritz 2, a commercial engine by Chessbase. Now, onto the game itself. Stockfish 14 was black, and I picked this game because they played a King's Indian defense. So this is a very well-known opening played by Gary Kasparov and many others. So they're playing the main line over here. And here I'm stopping, if you're not familiar with the opening, Black wants to launch an attack over here and maybe move the rooks like that. And White is attacking on the queen side. And it's a question who's gonna be first into this very sharp opening. So let's continue. In this position, I want to point out that Wesley So with White play Rook C3 against Grishuk, a very strong Russian Grandmaster. The Bishop E1 played, H5, continuing the plan for Black. King H8. So here again, there was a Grandmaster game played in 2017 where Black decided to move the Bishop. So many moves possible. And in this position, Farfritz 2 decided to go for Queen A4, putting some pressure on the Queen side. Now, you could also play a4, that's another idea. And in this position, you could also bring queen c2. So we have many moves possible. So bishop f6 played. And now, white went for rook c3. The same idea I was showcasing before. Instead, it was possible to take over here and then take on a6. And possibly, after this, you could repeat the move. But here, why wanting more and play rook c3 and rook g7 played. The game continued and I'm gonna stop right here. This is a key moment. And I'm gonna replay the game and then after the replay, I will analyze the key moments and the brilliant idea found by Stockfish14 leading to an amazing victory. So let's replay the game now. And here, white resign. Black will simply play e3 and d2 and will promote. So now let's go back to the game and what were the key moments and the turning point? a6 was a brilliant discovery. Now it was safer for white to play bishop f1, but instead, Fat Fritz went and grabbed the pawn. So the game continued. And here, another good move, 9g5, bringing the knight to the attack. And in this position, a piece sack, giving a piece which was accepted by white. Now, if you don't take the piece and try to hide the king, then you're going to take anyway and do like in the game, that e4. And then you have the similar idea as in the game, and you're going to crash through. So white takes the material and knight e4 played. Queen b4, maybe here the best defense was rook e1, but you would have rook f8, very strong attack for the piece. But queen b4 played, knight c5, and here is the turning point. The only way to defend here was to move the rook, rook a3. Now you still come in with rook g8, and after the queen moving here, queen f4 targeting you know, the bishop, is very strong. So in this uh, game, rook f1 played, so black grabbed some material and rook g8. So you have two bishop versus one rook. 
matter isn't clear, but the main problem here is that the king here is a target and black will attack. Check. So now you can see that black is the whole piece up, but that bishop doesn't play, right? It's completely on the side. It doesn't have any action. However, here, what black wants to do is very concretely come in and target the king. And there's no real defense. If you try rook g1, then rook g4 is very strong. And if you try to move the queen, then check, and you're winning the queen. So here, queen f3 play, but in this case, rook g3, and you win the queen. So yeah, the game continues, and it was rook and bishop versus the queen. But in the end, you're kind of pushing through and black wall. So amazing, amazing ideas, starting with a6, continuing with bishop g4, knight e4 was very good, and of course, rook g8, targeting the king, was amazing. I hope you enjoyed the game, showing how Starfish 14 plays the king's engine, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh -huh.